working on rebounding from the hit. There'll be three Malloys on varsity. Well, come on, dude, give me the puck. No, give me the puck. Jack. Ah, uh, well, four if you count your dad. Jack, it's not whether you get knocked down, it's whether you get back up. Vince Lombardi, but you gotta get up quicker. Coach Malloy. Son or not, you don't recover quicker, you're not making my team. Understood, coach. We'll work on my push check rallying, sir. So Sassy met Aspen at Fashion East oh Glam Camp this summer. No big shocker there. No wonder. I thought it was weird that Aspen had just transferred in and Sassy's already under her spell. Fashion East Glam Camp. What do they even do there? Who knows and who cares? <laughs> okay, girls, hustling! Okay, we are going to make a shift. Claire, I'm gonna be working with you today. Ellie, you're gonna spot Mackenzie. And Aspen, you're gonna spot Sassy. What? But coach, Sassy and I have been practice partners since like forever. Don't exaggerate, Elle, like only since kindergarten. Okay, but Aspen is new to town. From New York. Buffalo, New York. It's still New York. It is still New York. And she and Sassy are just a better physical match, okay? <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay, focus up. First varsity, then early acceptance into Boston College, then drafted by the Bruins. Yeah, I've seen the list, Jack Attack. Bro, don't worry about coach, you're cruising past everyone. I keep an eye on Dumbledore over there. Who, Porter? Man, he's been trying to escape JV since we were sophomores. He'd knock his own grandmother's teeth out just to keep another Malloy from getting a spot. Yo, you got this, bro. Girls, it is time to put your big girl leotards on because the rumors, they're true. True. The school is making budget cuts and is eliminating one of the sports teams. So it is between the badminton team, gross, I know, ew, and us. So if we don't win big on Sunday against Silverleaf High, and I mean big, they are gonna demote us to a club. A club? That's what I said. Like chess or thespians? Oh, for serious? This is tragical. Coach, they can't do that. My dad, uh, people will never drive halfway across the state to see a club. I know that. I Oh, come on! Oh, my goodness. Are you all right, Carol? That, that was my mistake. I was aiming for your neck! Aim for your neck next time! That doesn't make any sense. I will come over there. I will break you in half! Okay, you guys. You're gonna be fine. I mean, with Ellie as your old powerhouse and Aspen as your new powerhouse, how can you lose? Be the puck! Be the stick! Be the puck and the stick and the space in between! Are you listening? Not looking! Listening! Not so tough for a coach's kid, are you, Malloy? You can't even take a hit. I can take a hit, Porter, and I'll take that last Washington spot, too. <laughs> yeah! Listen up, Schmelz. Bring it in. 
Okay, decent job. But whoever's gonna get that last varsity spot, I'm gonna need to see your A game. And that's not just on the ice, but off it too. No horse playing. No high jinxing. And definitely no unsportsmanlike shenanigan in. We got two more days of tryouts, boys. Show me what you're made of. You wanna rescue this team, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you do. So everything you need is inside you right now. You just have to find it. You're not little girls anymore. You're men now. The world's gonna be your oyster. Your women hear you roar! Right? And all you gotta do is, is not, not blow it. it! No, don't leave me hanging here. Yes! Don't blow it! Yeah! yeah. Don't blow it, yeah. Boys. next time that long, right? Because that's, for me, that's very awkward. Oh, he's coming down. Oh, oh, we got nothing. Dude, you gotta chop that salad. You practically got a man bun going. Nobody's touching my hair, dude. Oh, come on, it's a varsity tradition. Plus, it might help you with your lady troubles. <laughs> Shut it. Oh, quit busting his chops, Sally. Who you tripping at, Mary? Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Aw, you're gonna cry, baby butter. Man up! I'm not crying. <laughs> Champ. <laughs> oh, but you might cry when Coach sees that. Yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, a little bro pushing back. Oh, is Mary? Oh, Mary? Girls, Friday's fashion decree, skirt day, flirt day, let it be so. Love it. Hey, Kay. What about our tradition? Jack suits the Friday before me? Here. I know it's pink, but at least it still has service. Coach said he didn't shut it off because he paid the year in advance, but I think he just couldn't. No, it's okay. I'll just go off the grid for a little while. How's he gonna text you his inspirational quotes? Besides, I already transferred your number over. <laughs> Mom sure did love her sparkles. What soon-to-be varsity athlete doesn't want a twinkly sequined lady fop? Mom? What's with the car? Oh, I punctuated, honey. To give you a stronger life force for the big weekend coming up. Oh, I'm excited. Are you so excited? Yeah. Oh, I got that. Okay. Let's go. Sweetie, why don't you let me get you a new phone? Your dad left that ancient thing behind for a reason. It's not ancient, it's retro chic. I just think you're attaching too much significance to an inanimate object. Mystical religions 101. Early shamans knew that investing too much emotional energy in an object could make, make it, it a totem, totem and, and give it power, power over you. you. Mom, it's a cell phone, not Gollum's ring. Hey, Jacko. You're 30 seconds late for one-on-one -on -one truck time with Coach. He's just pulling up now. You know how he hates to wait. Come on, buddy. Better three hours too soon than a minute late. Shakespeare. Not even an athlete. Not with those pantaloony things he wore. Yes, sir. Probably not, sir. Would it really be so bad if the team became a club? I mean, I was in Spanish club and it was muy divertido. And McKinsey's in STEM club, isn't she? At least it would be something new and new is good. You know, new moons, new experiences, perhaps a new best friend. Sassy's my best friend. Well, maybe you could let some new energy in. 
Being, isn't that what Sassy's doing? Reminder to all girls, my party's tomorrow night, Paris theme. Can't wait, be there right after STEM club. Sassy, let's talk about Claire's party. We need a plan for uninviting Ellie. Bro, you girl has been so hot. Wow. Why do I always like the mean ones? <laughs> lunch, want that lunch? Mm -hmm. Ooh, have such a good day, sweetie. Mommy loves you. Hi, Mom. What's up, dog breath? Hey, what's up, George Chop? <laughs> yeah, good to see you, bud. Hey, sup, hot mama? Newsflash, skirts don't have legs. So embarrassing. Am I right? <sighs> there, we good? Not really. Uh, sass, come on. You know, we always wear our tracksuits the Friday before a meet. RG Pride, right? Yeah, <laughs> wish I hadn't caved. Uh yeah, we did, like, make a pact last year. Well, I wasn't here last year to lead a fashion rescue, now was I? <laughs> Oop, sassy, look. It's your future first husband, Jack Malloy. You like Jack? You didn't tell me. Does he even know who you are? <laughs> Have you never heard of a vision board? Jack is all over hers. Go ahead, do it like we practiced. Okay. Here comes a girl. Let's say something. Hey guys. Hey, Jack. Uh, uh, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, at least this time you open your mouth, amigo. Uh, yeah, and maybe next time words will come out. <laughs> I love the strong silent type. <laughs> You did not wake up today to be mediocre. So carpe diem before DM carpe's you, coach. Nice phone, Malloy. Use that to schedule your Manny Petties. Hey, I was thinking. Doesn't coach have a rule if you start a fight, you can't be on varsity? You ought to know. You've tried out three times. It's actually four times. But it's sophomore year twice, idiot. <sighs> Go ahead. Ladies first. Then it'll look like you started it when I showed the video to coach. Or does that even matter? Don't all Malloy's get a free ride onto varsity? <laughs> Worked better than I expected. Oh man. Say goodbye to your dreams, buddy. Oh, seriously? I've had a milk mustache since lunch. Ugh. You think things with Ellie are tough now? It's only gonna get worse, babe. I mean, people like us have to make legit tough decisions sometimes. I know, I know. I wish Ellie just get it without me having to be all super awk obvious. It's kinda sad, actually. Almost as sad as that ponytail. I mean, what is she, 12? Oh, and Daddy's heirloom phone? Why is she so attached to that thing? Like, move on already. Yeah, I mean, it was super sad when her dad left. But like, life goes on and... <gasps> Ooh, is that paparazzi pucker? No, it's called lip gloss it. Try it. Maybe I can just tell her she's being too clingy and she'll like, change? I mean, I don't wanna actually hurt her feelings. Okay, okay, fine. Give her one more chance. Keep her on social life support. But if she's her typical buzzkill self at Claire's party, it might be time to pull the plug. Beep. My lucky day. I got a crier and a kid with a bloody nose. There, wipe off the tears, kid.
You took quite a hit, didn't you, hon? You wanna cry? We won't tell anybody. I'm not crying, not a girl. No offense. Not taken. Oh, that makes it less offensive? Not crying. <laughs> yeah, because you've got nothing to cry about. I mean, you're a guy, aren't you? If someone disses you, you don't have to hide in the bathroom stall. Guys have it so easy. Okay, pull it back, Pitbull. In what universe do guys have it easy? If some dinosaurs tricked you into a fight, I mean, you think people blame you? No, just get all emo and then hug it out with your mom in the kitchen while you bake banana bread or... Okay, zip it. You wanna fight the battle of the sexes? Why don't you just text, like every other kid does. And no more yakking in my office. This one's hers, mine's a pink one. I don't care. And I mean it. Keep those mac and cheese holes shut. You seriously think girls have it easier? Don't think. I know. Please. Seriously? You ever had to man up? You ever had to change clothes for skirt day? Uh, huh? Exactly. I wish I had your life. My life would be so much better. For reals? Take it. Then I'd get yours. I wouldn't mess that one up. Deal. Deal. <laughs> Fine. Want to goof off? I'm going to go to the snack bar, get myself some pork rinds. I love pork rinds. Oh, why am I on the floor? Did I forget deodorant? I smell like a dude. And why does my thumb taste like athletic tape and dirt? What the what? Wait, who painted my fingernails? Nightmare. I feel so grimy. Dude, slap me and I'll slap you. And we'll see if we can like slap each other ourselves back to reality. Okay. Uh, how? Oh. oh sorry. Boy hands just hit so hard. Dude, why am I so sweaty in weird places? What is the purpose of underarm hair? Dude, focus straight. What exactly were we doing right before this this thing happened? Uh, texting, we were texting. I wish I had your life. Take it, then I get yours. We did this. No, no, it's just a stupid text. I once texted a wish that I could power fart myself across the ice, and trust me, that didn't happen. Okay, you're right. I mean, a text can't have that kind of power. Investing too much emotional energy in an object could make, make it a, a totem, totem and give, give it power it. over you. But wait, a, a totem can? That phone, is it like special to you in some sort of way? I guess, yeah, I mean. It belonged to somebody special. I can't believe it. My mom isn't crazy after all. She took this class on mystical religions, and if you put too much emotional energy into one object, you could turn it into a totem, and it could have power over you. Bro, no way. That is nuts. We just swap bodies. You got a better theory, Mr. Lady? Okay, we gotta untext our wish. I wish I had my I own wish body. I could go back to my body. <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe it's the second part of the text. We said our lives would be better if we were each other. Uh, but we didn't mean it. Your mom must have a book from that class, right? So we sneak over to your house. I can sneak anywhere. My mom's got her, like, pilot's license and helicopter parenting. Okay, okay, we gotta fake being each other till we can get there. Speed coaching 101, let's do this. <laughs> Ew, don't get your spit all over it. Well, technically it's your spit, but... Oh, who cares? Focus down. Oh, just let me do it. Okay, fine, whatever. Uh, me first. Uh, hockey is my life. I live with my dad and twin brothers. You live with all guys? We call my dad coach. And we exercise a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Ah! Oh, sorry, uh... Okay, me, uh, I live with my mom. Uh, she's a yoga instructor. She schedules, like, her entire life around me. And uh, I specialize in the ribbon and rhythmic gymnastics. Is that what it's called? I've seen you girls jumping around or whatever. What? It's called practice. 
RG is a totally legit sport. Ah! Don't yank, Twinkle Toes. What, no highlights? Get out. I think I need glasses for your eyeballs. It's giving me vertigo. I think I'm gonna puke. No puking in my body. Oh, how do you carry yourself around on these feet? Okay, let's go. <laughs> no, she can't see us together. She likes you. Oh, she can't think I like you. Oh, can't break girl code. Okay, so Just get away, get away. <laughs> hey, Jack. Oh, uh, hey there, Miss Sassy. Oh, <laughs> so you do know my name. Um, uh, Ellie? What are you doing here? Uh, ma. So, so. See? Buzzkiller. I'm gonna make my mom late for Bikram belly dancing. And as we all know, Bikram is in balls. So let's go. I hope to see you soon, Mr. Malloy. Sass, I think you really What was that? Uh, uh, ma. Uh, I just. I'm not used to being a girl, okay? I choked. Where's the we're gonna have to fake it guy? I mean, she's my best friend and, well, we're going through a thing right now. You just can't make things worse. Okay, cool, just don't lose it. Cause nothing would make things worse for me than my father or anyone else seeing my body blubbering like that. All right, sorry if I have real emotions, okay? Shh, what you... come on this way. Malloy! Guess where I'm headed? Over to the viewing party with Coach, A.K.A.K. A, your daddy. What is your problem, dude? Why can't you just leave me, her, him alone? Stop spreading your misery, man. Well, firecracker, aren't you? What's your name, tracksuit? Uh, Ellie? Ellie, I'm Porter. Hi. It's a pleasure. Please tell me you're not with him. No way. Not even possible. Do you like donuts, Ellie? Well, I got a little buy a dozen get one free coupon for donut digs. Maybe I could give you my freebie tomorrow, a.m.? Yes, but, uh, hey, Porty. I'm gonna be sick. I'd love to go out for fried pastry. You know, if you do me a solid and don't show Jack's dad that video of me. Suppose you can wait one more day. All right, then. 10 a.m., my nana. Porty. It's awesome. Ugh! I need a disinfecting bath. I am not going out with Porty, and neither is my body. Hey, if I have to be a girl, I'm at least gonna use it to make things better for the guy me, okay? All right, but we gotta split up. Hey, Jackalo! Let's go. They'll call me. Man, I don't know how you're gonna make it through tryouts today. You can't blow this. My whole future depends on hockey. Yeah, well, Rhythmic is everything to me. My dad is driving out for my meet on Sunday, so ditto, like, times 100. I think I can handle flipping some ribbons and doing somersaults. Seriously? That's what you think we do? Ow, rhinestones on this thing are cutting up my face, which could be some serious exfoliation, by the way. I told you, you gotta keep sparkly, and I gotta keep this, um, relic until everything's settled. If my dad called and I answered with this chick voice, we'd be toast. Okay, my brother's Gunner and Stryker are picking me up. Gunner and Stryker and Jack? What, did they run out of cool names at the cool name store? Coach picked their names. My mom picked mine. Just look for a blue truck, okay? All right, and you look for a yoga-type lady in a red bubble car. Okay, I'll call you after practice when I get the totem book. Good luck. Good luck. Doing that is so dangerous. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I mean, lady, ma'am, mom. Hey, Jacko, come on. What are you waiting for? An invitation? OMG, this is a thing. What's up, champ? First day on the new legs? You know, I can't resist that little puppy face of yours. All is forgiven. This is so weird. So, 
So, how was your day? Uh, totally unreal. Awesome. So who'd you sit with at lunch? What'd you talk about? So Claire's mom told me all about the party tomorrow night. Is everybody super excited? I would be so super excited. She told me it's a Paris thing. Ooh la la, that sounds amazing. How do you handle all the questions? I think she should get you a new dress. Earbuds uh. are your friends. <laughs> so what do you say, Shaggy? Chop, chop for the flop flop? So you up for it? Chopping the salad? Uh, I guess. Wait, seriously? Sweet. Strike is going to flip. <laughs> Oh, buddy. Quick, what's chopping the salad? Hey. <laughs> Quick, what's chopping the salad? No, don't chop the salad. No way am I putting this thing on. <sighs> Over my dead girl body. Five, six, seven, eight, and reaching up into the sky. Chin up. You gotta keep your chin up in life. And five, six, seven, eight, and kick. Two, three, four, point those toes like your life depends on it. And reaching up into oh. the sky. Reach, reach, hold your toes as much as you can. It's really hard, it hurts me to watch. And reaching over and hold that hug, hug, and... Huh. Oh. Oh. Hmm. What? I got chilly. The freak just keeps getting freakier. Right? No, it's not appropriate. No. Oh, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, and reaching up to the sky like what have I done with my life? And kick two, three, four. Into my heart. The devil is flesh. You're a dopamine bash. Reduce my worst and my best. We're oh. mad. Cause my mind is split and all my body wants to go. I wanna go. I wanna go. Oh, my heart hey. is in the ground. It's gonna go. It's gonna go. It's gonna go. It's gonna go. Oh, my heart is in the ground. It's gonna go. 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 That it smells like someone boiled cabbage in a sweat sock. Yeah, strike had the chili at lunch. Dude, heard you gonna let me mow the flow. That deserves a profile. <laughs> <laughs> Me. At least now you can see your manly eyebrows. What? Hey, it's Jack. Leave a message or don't. I would kill you, Jack Malloy, but I can't live without you. Hit me back. Sassy, news of major girl code breakage. I just overheard Ellie flirting with Jack Malloy. Sorry, Jack, I just I can't get yelled at right now. All right, Squirt, we'll grab your bucket and breezes. We'll fire up a protein shake before tryouts. Right, my bucket and breezer. Breezers. Okay. So, can we talk about the phone again? Oh, yeah, you mean about the totem thing? Awesome, let's break it down. Oh, Ellie, I'm so glad we're on the same wavelength about this. So, let's say this totem had some kind of power over you. What would you need to do to, like, unpower it? Funny you should ask, because I did exactly that. I deactivated your flip phone, I got you a new one. Deactivated? Well, the switch won't be official until Sunday at noon. Sunday? It seemed like perfect timing. Timing? Because we're on the cusp of a harvest moon. Harvest moon? And it's when the old data plan expires. Expires? Sweetheart, 
Your aura seems to have an echo. Total emergency! Your mom canceling phone service! What? We can't switch back without both totems. Duh! Only have two days to figure this out. Someday at noon. Or be stuck in these bodies forever? yelling. Whoa. Bro's finally got you, huh? <laughs> now, come on. Suit up. Your dad wants you on the ice, man. My dad? Oh, right. Let's go, ladies. You either hack it or you pack it. Great Santini. That's Jack's dad? Poor Jack. Poor me. Dude, sorry, I think I took your mouth guard. What, I got germs or something? Oh. It's not my mouth. It's not my mouth. It's not my mouth. We're stopping? But there's this book I really need to read. I told you last night, honey. Dr. Baker, for your team physical. Say what now, lady? Okay, drills today, rest day tomorrow, and then scrimmage against varsity for the final tryout on Sunday. Show me what you got. That's a slap shot to the puck. Oh, that hurt me. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, that is so cold. Okay, Ellie, uh, you can take the mask off now. Oh. I just don't like looking at needles or other things that aren't technically my right to look at. Well, ooh. Sorry. You seem a little off. Your mom told me about what's been going on. I know dad leaving was rough. Losing a parent is so hard. Who exactly was I looking at on that ice in there? Uh, just a little me, sir. Jack Malloy, sir. That's my own fault. Expecting is my greatest crime, and disappointment is always my punishment. Author unknown, but not unwise. Look, sir, I know I totally blew it today, but I'm really hoping I'm gonna be back to myself soon. Like, really soon. Listen, I'm wondering if I should even tell you this or not, but uh, I can't tell if putting more pressure on you is good or bad. Well, like 99% of child psychologists would say bad. We're dedicating a bleacher seat to your mother's memory on Sunday, since it's the one-year anniversary of I would just rather avoid the irony of her son blowing his chance of varsity on the same day. You got me? You cut your hair? She always liked it long. Uh, but good choice. Good choice, right? It's just it's better for us if we just keep moving it forward. Put the rejuvenating oils and the relaxing salts in the bath. I also added some lavender bubble bath and some rose petals for tranquility. You lucky girl, you're gonna smell like a bouquet of roses. I am so jelly. No way this dude's doing bubbles.
Yo, Jacko, your phone kept ringing, so I answered it. It's a girl. <laughs> Kind of afraid to ask, but hockey tryouts? Kind of afraid to answer. Oh, man. I don't even want to ask about rhythmic practice. I'm not supposed to cry in your body, remember? Okay, we just need to focus on solutions here, so listen. The ancients believed that bestowing emotional power onto an object made it a totem with the ability to cast spells or grant wishes. Yeah, 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 we get that. Let's get to the deciphering part. You know, your mom's right. You are kind of controlling. You already had a girl talk with my mom about me? Oh, not just with your mom, but with Dr. Baker, too. Thanks for the heads up on that, by the way. Oh my gosh, my physical, I completely forgot. Don't worry, my mother taught me to be a gentleman. I'm so sorry about your mom, Jack. And they're having a dedication for her on Sunday. Oh, cool. And I'm sorry too, about everything with your dad. Leaving. Thanks. Okay, awkward silence acknowledged. And we're moving on. They believe the spell was binding unless a task or quest was undertaken to reverse it. Often the quest is inherent in the original wish. So it is about our text wish, but I still don't know what the heck the quest would be. I think our quest is to make our lives less messed up. What? To make them better, I mean, because that's what we texted. That can't be it. I didn't want to make your life better. I wanted mine to not reek. Exactly. We wanted each other's lives to make our lives better. But I think the totems knew that we'd have to help each other to do that. Dude, I'm just not down with totem logic. Oh, I didn't realize you were on the phone. Here, I'll just put your calming tea right here. I'm pretty sure that this is it. So just tell me what I need to do to help you before the technology god shut down my totem and we're stuck like this forever. Okay, if we really need to de-stink each other's lives, the first thing I'm doing tomorrow is trying to get the phone contract extended. And the first thing you're doing is getting Porter to delete that video. Wait, but Porter's expecting my body, not yours. What if he freaks out? Well then run. My body's way faster than his. Huh. Never thought I'd go on my first date with Harry Legs. Uh, why are you doing your pre-bed core? Exercise now? I'm just gonna finish up this phone call real quick. Oh, yeah. Uh, sir, it's super important that I communicate right now. No distractions. Uh -oh. You can get this back after tryouts on Sunday. Sunday? Sunday. Okay, what's the worst thing that could happen? He confiscated the totem and I have to start shopping for a prom dress? Get the undead ready for the day! Let's go, early birds! Time to yank some worms! Woo! Uh, yep, yeah, still the boy. Yo, I thought I told you before there ain't no stopping me There ain't no maybes here, this isn't possibly This is the all night struggle that will be here for life Don't look down, just go Okay. Hope you're having fun, Jack. Bro, no pressure, no diamonds. Come on, man, I'm not going without you. Come on, Jacko. If you don't finish, we don't. You can do this, okay? What did mom always say? A bro is the best friend you're ever gonna have. Right? So come on. All right, let's see what this body can do. Yeah. Woo! This testosterone stuff is ridiculous. Good warm up. Three miler back home for lower body. Deadlifts, landmine reverse lunges, sled pushes. Legs feed the wolf. Her Brooks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait. Warm up? Still a girl. Think about
about why you're hanging out with Jack Malloy. Please tell me it's not because of a backstabby conscience. Uh... Aspen has her theories, but I say you were just trying to be my wingwoman, right? Not swooping down on my fresh boy kill like a lady vulture. Oh, wait a minute. Look at you. What was I even thinking? Aspen must have just heard wrong. Whew. Well, next time people are eavesdropping, could you please try to speak more clearly? Oh, one last thing. And I am totes saying this for your own sake, Al. At Claire's tonight, could you just try to act like... Just don't be so Ellie, okay? Don't be so Ellie. Okay, that one I can promise. Whoa, I know that smell. Hey, ready for banana bread? You make banana bread too? Two slices of banana bread with a hug in the middle makes a love sandwich. Oh, see, that is such a cute saying. Well, bread's in the kitchen, but here's the hug. Hmm? Oh. Uh, I gotta go do some stuff. You are tense, babe. Listen, I know that you're counting on your dad to be at tomorrow's meet, but I don't want you to be disappointed if he and Felicia just can't make it. Hmm? Oh, and I have a surprise. <gasps> Mommy daughter spa day. Yay. Can't wait. Mm hmm. Hey guys, I think I'm gonna skip the workout today. I'm meeting someone for donuts. You're messing with us, right? Your final tryout is in tomorrow's scrimmage. Trust me, this donut was gonna help that cause way more than a few dead body lifts. Oh, bro, what are you doing? That's mom's closet. I totally knew that. I wasn't trying to go out this door as if it was a, a real door. That one's obviously right there. I was just checking to make sure everything is still here. As soon as you made varsity, should have had a shirt made for you too, bro. Queen for a day, or sweet baby girl deluxe? Uh, you choose. They both sound equally terrifying. Hmm? Uh, terrifyingly awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mom, do I gotta set to run an errand across the street? Oh, there'll be time after. Queen for a day? It's actually only half a day long. We'll be queens for the day. Jacko, you need to take a brain break from tryouts. Hope you can make it to game night tonight, bro. Malloy. I made a day with Tracks, you're not with you. Totally showing Coach the video. Wait, wait. I mean, can we just talk things out? Amanda, me? Just let me try to make things better. How? You gonna drop out so I get the last varsity spot? Well, I'm open to hearing your feelings on the subject. Huh? And you rode all the way here in your funky scooter. You might as well get your donuts, right? Well, okay. But I'm not giving you my freebie. That's right. Ladies first, Malloy. Ah! <laughs> Wait! No, no, stop! Ladies, stop it! Stop it! This is relaxation. Ooh, that tingles. Is this another treatment? Honey, you act like you never had your legs waxed before. Huh? Ah! Ah! This has been going on for four years now. First your stupid brothers, now you want to take my spot? It's like the, it's like the Hatfield McCoys. Except I'm not a Hatfield. It's Malloy, not McCoy. But otherwise, it's exactly the same. Porter, question. Do you really like hockey? Do you really love to play, or do you just want to be able to say you made the team? What's the difference? 
Okay, I mean, you could show the video to Coach and maybe get a spot on varsity, but how's that gonna change your life? You gotta find out what makes your heart happy and stop trying to be something or someone that you're not. But hockey's the only thing I'm good at. Well, you have been trying to make the team for four years, so. Oh. Right, well, that stinks. Guess I'm not good at anything then. My whole life's a lie. Who even am I? That's a pretty cool contraption. I want you to check something out. Check out this STEM club thingy. If I don't like it, I'm taking you down, Malloy. Downtown. The video town. Do you get it? Because of the, vi the video I took. Of yep, I got it. Okay. Fair enough. Back? Oh, I totally forgot that you're a science rock star. That's so awesome. You know me? Oh, right. You're Jack Malloy, aren't you? Yes, yes, I'm Jack Malloy. All boy ever since I was born. Not to be rude, mister, but I'm kind of in a rush. How can we extend this contract, like, right now? <sighs> oh, don't worry, that's just algae. See? All right, well, I'm sorry. Can't extend the plan. It wasn't your mom who canceled it, it was your dad. Here, look. Oh. They can't even extend the service for, like, a day? Why did my mom have to cancel it? No, it wasn't your Uh, look, it's complicated. I'll explain later. Listen, you gotta give me something else to do to make your life better. You know, besides getting all your body hair ripped out by the roots. Dude, I can't believe I thought you had it easier. Hello, I told you. But look, I really need you to go to Claire's party tonight and fix up with Sassy. She's my best friend and I cannot lose her right now. I need you to be a guy tonight. What you talking about, weirdo? Jack Malloy's cool and popular and so just be you being me and Sassy will know that I can fit in and I'm not a buzz killer of uncoolness. Is that what she thinks? Why do you want to be friends with this chick anyway? Hey, you asked me what would make my life better, so just don't be judgy. A girl needs her BFF. Whoa, gotta go. Thanks, Mac. Yeah, no problem. I had a lot of fun hanging out with you today. I honestly don't know why we didn't do this before. I wanted to be ash blonde, not ashy blonde. I need to look ultra cool tonight, like a may zing. Yes, I understand. No way. Are you French? I'm going to a Paris theme party tonight. I'm sure it will be very authentic. Oh, may we? It's gonna be très chic. Well, except for my bestie's tragic ex BFF. I mean. This girl would wear gym shorts on the red carpet. She hasn't moved on since fifth grade. It's moving on. Ellie Domage. I'll get your color. I'll be right back. Oh. Really? Oh. I am right back. Oh, that was quick. So, this Ellie of tragedy. She's been ex bff you say? Well, if she doesn't step up her game by tonight, she will be. And which BT dubs is totally fine with me because I am from New York and we don't do third relationships. Ah, oh, you know what I mean? Big city sister. Holla! Hey. This is very relaxing. Hey, honey, where'd you go? 
Uh, Mom, after the spa, can I get like a makeover and some new clothes? I need to look amazing tonight for Claire's party. Are you kidding me? You want something new? Oh, let's do it, babe. Uh, cool. <coughs> Must be another leg waxer. <coughs> <laughs> There's the mystery man. I was worried about you, bro, my granite juice. I know you always Nancy out before a big game, but dude, I've never seen you like this before. Nancy out? Oh, like, nervous Nancy. So I stress out a lot. Does a Zamboni have four wheel drive? <laughs> yeah. So I should help him uh, myself, relieve the stress. Maybe relax and goof around for a little while? Don't bother convincing us you need to go to Owen's game night. Coach will have you hidden hay by sunset. Game night? It's perfect. <laughs> Lord! Oh, it's all right, guys. I got this. What do I think? Uh, you were right. <laughs> Found the answer to my heart's question. I'm an engineer. Not like on a train. Like designing stuff. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Is your scooter running on soda? Pretty sick, huh? Hey, are you big time? Seriously, call me for whatever. It's gone. Just like my confusion over life choices. You did that for me, Malloy. You did. Did Porter Gibbs just give you a double back tap bro hug? Yes, he did. Life is sure getting better for you, huh, Jacko? Yes, it is. Portster, need that favor. Tonight, jailbreak. Order. It's the least that I could do for the dude that helped align me with my infinite self. Now go. Shoot up some zombies with your friends. I got some friends too, I gotta go, you know? I have this one friend, he's at the at the grocery store. We're pretty, pretty tight, you know. He works there, but it's just it's still cool. He's cool with it. But yeah, I got that, I got that going on tonight, so I'm I'm pretty busy, but Okay, okay, I get it. 
Okay. It's probably going to be weird for you at first. Definitely going to be weird for me. The politics of introducing someone into a friend group are extremely complicated. So just let me try to... Jackpack! You made it! Oh, is Porter with you? Yes, but just let me explain. Cool. Need some? Here. Don't mind if I do. Wow. You look amaze adorable. Ellie? Is that you? What's with the extreme makeover? I. Um. No, no. Um. Um. See, Sass? I told you it wasn't a rumor. It was a rumor. You don't think she unponytailed herself for us, do you? No, it was for him. <gasps> Ellie? Deny it if it's not true. You know how much he means to me. Ever since, like, yesterday, he's been my number one choice for sophomore boyfriend. How could you? Wait. Okay, let's let them talk. By the way, Nice hat. Not cliche at all. Oh, I see. So are you gonna admit it? I don't even get it. Uh, rumors, rumors. Can we just like, can we just be cool? Oh, so you want things to go back to the way they were before? Like pinball in my garage, sleepover on Saturdays and watching old VHS tapes? Yes, that. We good? Elle, I'm just not into that stuff anymore. We're sophomores now. You know, Aspen's right. You're just not the kind of friend that's bestie for me anymore. Hey, Elle, let's go dance. Another slice, dung brains. <laughs> Toodaloo, you're eating carbs and grease. I haven't seen you like this in. Oh, well, I've, I've never seen you like this. Isn't that just wrong? Look, discipline is great, but sometimes you kids just gotta have some pizza and chips, you know what I mean? So tonight, I'll be doing no kettlebells, no deadlifts, and the only burpees I'm gonna be doing are these. <laughs> Right, man. Give me this. Thanks. Hey, look, a perfume bar. Awesome. Like, seriously, you get to make your own smell? Man, this would totally cover the fart wars at my house. You have fart wars at your house? Yeah. You know, me and my mom fart warring it up. I love it. <sighs> All right. I saw you were having some trouble talking sassy back there, huh? Yeah. Not that I get half of what they're saying. I mean, tumors, girl code. Yeah, that. Well, Aspen started this rumor that you're trying to steal Jack Malloy away from Sass. Seriously? That's what they've been babbling about? Well, guess what? He's not hers to steal. Oh, good. I mean, I didn't think so. Okay, you know what? I made a promise to, to me that I would make things better with Sassy. But what if better means without Sassy? I mean... More than one BFF in the sea. So I don't hang out and play video games. I don't eat pizza. What else don't I do? You know, from your perspective as a friend. Huh. Well, aside from staying up to the coach, which is this way is not gonna happen, I guess the biggest thing would be well, you. Yeah, of course I know. <laughs> I don't. I always I got no game. I got no game, right? Wait, what? I'm this cool of a kid and I have trouble talking to girls? Do all of you guys know I have trouble talking to girls? Yeah, bro. Even I have better game than you. And I got chronic halitosis. Well, let's talk about this. 
What can I do to beat it? I think I know how. Really? Well, spill, girl. I mean, spill about girls, mister. All right, well, the only people you ever have around you are guys. Maybe you need to have, like, a girl who's a friend before you ever have a girl friend. Maybe. Bro, are your two initials Y and Y? Because you are too wise. Too wise, my friend. Blowing my mind. I like this guy. Oh, this is so boring. Joie de Beaver? At a party with no boys? Please. I guess some joie if we could leave this horror show. <laughs> Quick, follow me. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Okay, I love it. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, Sassy, Aspen, take that down. You're ruining everything. Hey, what are you two doing? You know you're being totally uncool. Yeah, well, you would know totally uncool, Elf. That's your specialty. <laughs> Oh, come on, Ellie. Take a joke. It's funny. Okay. You know who wouldn't think it's funny? Jack Malloy. <gasps> oh, that's right. He and I are tight. Like, so tight I know his thoughts tight. Like, tighty whitey tight. Okay, maybe not that. That's weird. Yeah. Wait, it's one thing for you to be going after him, but you're saying that he's into you too? This I gotta see. I think it's time for a little excursion. There is no way she's a seven. She's a five at most. But the new girl Aspen, she's a nine, verging on a ten. Guys, come on. It is so not cool to reduce girls to numbers. What about Sassy Gales? She's a total smoke show now. Nah, man. She wears way too much makeup. And she's kind of a fake. We grew up on the same street. Won't even talk to me anymore. But what do you guys think about her friend? One with ponytail? Tracks you. Now we're talking. <laughs> Ellie, I think her name is. I don't know, guys. There's something about her. She's real, you know? And plus, she's She's so hot. <laughs> Meet at the river. Someone says she's Jack's bae. What evs? Mm. Dude, you been holding out on us? No. Yes. I don't know. Oh, I'm like, kind of pretty. Oh, right, my hair. Uh, looks awesome in the wind. What the heck is going on? Kiss me. What? Shh. Oh, Jackie, you flirt. Of course, I'll walk to the bridge with you so we can be alone. What are they doing? What is going on? Okay, don't freak, but I kind of made everybody think that you liked me. Well, that I liked you. Well, why? Because you told me to make you cool and popular. Yeah, but only so I could get sassy back. Don't you get it? This is like a major girl code violation. Girl code is just like bro code? But bros have your back. This girl is stabbing you in the back. Oh, you're such a guy. Look, if we don't lock lips, everyone's going to think you're a liar. And if we do, then I'm a traitor. Great, you had one job to get my BFF back, and you screwed it up. <laughs> this is hopeless. The last day of hockey tryouts are tomorrow, and we're not going to switch back. My life is over. Oh, I can't even look at my face right now. Yeah? Well, I make me sick. Wait! Elle, you're leaving? Yeah, she's got to get home before midnight, otherwise her dress is going to turn back into a leotard. OK, normally I wouldn't call a girl out, but you know what? Come at me, gymnasty. Uh-oh, girl fight. The money's on you, tracksuit. Thanks, Porty. Oh, Jack, don't do it. You deal with her. She's your ex BFF, not mine. <sighs> Ellie, <laughs> don't be such a guy about this, OK? You want to be friends again like you asked before? OK, we're friends. Good? <laughs> Are you kidding? You don't know anything about friendship, Sassy. All it took was for someone shinier to come to town, and you dropped Elle. Me, like yesterday's garbage. 
You know, I guess I should thank Aspen. It's because of her that you showed your true colors. And speaking of true colors... Oh, no. Ellie! Oh, oh my oh, gosh! Freak! Just keeps getting freakier! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm always ruining everything. Elle, are you okay? I've never seen you do something like that before. Jack! Jack Malloy! Where are you? Honesty is the first chapter in the Book of Wisdom. Thomas Jefferson. Seriously? Boys don't cry. It's your allergies. It's in your mind, coach. They don't cry. You need to take a long look in the mirror and think hard about how you're going to redeem yourself tomorrow. Oh, you took stuff out of her closet. That's all. Good night. Breathe in, breathe out. It's over now. Oh, hey, Albel. How was the party? The okay. air has cleared. You can let you go. Number one, make varsity. Number two, play for Boston College. Number three, get drafted by the NHL. Number four, make my mom when I win the Stanley Cup. Sign Jack Malloy. Witness by Linda Malloy. Sorry about tonight. I'm sorry, too. Peace? Yes. Don't want to ruin your life tomorrow. What can we do? Hang on. I may have an idea. If Owen can unlock Sportsplex, I think we can fix everything. Hang tight. So, one more time. You made your phones into magic wands and shazammed your souls into each other's bodies? Do I gotta burp the Pledge of Allegiance again to prove it? I pledge allegiance. Okay, okay, I I'm convinced. Are you sure this is the way to get back? It's the last way we can think of to make each other's lives better. Do you really think we can get our bodies to cooperate? It's in our muscles. Believe me. When I ran this morning, I was able to tap into your body's power. You can do the same with mine. I don't know. Here, watch. Oh. Okay, then. All I've got to do is just teach you the gymnastics routine and you teach me the hockey rules. Let's go.
up? I'm here, I got up early and didn't come from anywhere else. Dude, you are nails, Jacko. Oh, good, you're up. I'm up. I'm definitely up. Great. Your spirulina smoothie's almost ready. I'll add a little ginseng. How bizarre all this is. Dude, I'm rocking a leotard and body glitter. You don't have to tell me. Uh, is Ellie's dad here? No, show. Poor Ellie. You know, if, if you want to sneak over to the rink for your mom's ceremony. Oh, it's okay. I don't need to. You sure? There's enough time. I don't want to, okay? I'm sorry. I'm just. I just really need to focus. If we don't fulfill this quest by noon, you'll have to ask me to the homecoming dance. Better nail it. I will, Dork Jap. <sighs> Ellie. She just really loved the game. <laughs> and not just because her kids rolled the ice. We miss you, Mom. But now your spirit will always be here. All right, ladies, as individuals, we shine. But we are a team, first and foremost. By the end of the day, if we've done our job right, there'll be some weepy badminton players out there, all right? So let's kick some birdie! Because that's the little flying thing they, they use in badminton. Let's kick some birdie! Like, this is where you join me. Here we go. Let's kick some birdie! Next. Okay, it's scrimmage against varsity. Four on four. Your body's got this. You're gonna get hit. You may go down. But the key is to recover. Okay? Got it. Them. What about me? Well, it wasn't pretty, but you can check number one off your list. Varsity! <laughs> okay. Moment of truth. It's 11 15. There's only 45 minutes left. I wish, wish I, I had, had my, my life, life back. back. 
No! W what happened? Why didn't it work? I don't know. Maybe we got attached to each other's totems. Switch. I wish, wish I, had I had my life, life back. back. There's gotta be something else. What else could there be? We've tried everything. We gotta tell the truth. We find my mom, tell her what's really going on, and, and she'll extend the contract. No, Ellie, that's not gonna work. Well, Owen believed us, so, so she will too. I mean, we really need that extra time. Ellie, it wasn't her. Your mom didn't pull the plug in your totem. She was just covering for your dad. It was him. He wanted a new family plan. Why would he want it? Oh. There's new family. Maybe you could try calling your dad and telling him the truth. And then maybe you can call the phone company no, and... I, he won't answer. It's what he does when he's embarrassed by not showing up. What are you doing here? Let's go. Jack, I don't repeat myself. I'm so sorry, Ellie. Me too, Jack. Happy with how you played today? Uh, I mean, varsity, sir. Yeah, barely. And only because everyone else played worse. Wow, I mean, do you know how that makes a kid feel? Like, to hear that? You see, that's your problem. Okay, if you can't handle the corners, if you can't be a man and be mentally tough, you open yourself up to weakness. Your emotions can step in and knock you to the ground. It. Enough is enough. You were outstanding today, love. So I think I know what's going on. Doubt it. Someone wasn't there today, they should have been. You know, when someone who supported you and was there for you all these years is suddenly just gone, I really don't want to talk about it. What do you have to do with the loss? I'm fine. You're not fine. You've been holding this inside forever. And your dad not showing up today is a chance for you to let it out. You know, sometimes we miss people so much, we think it's beyond words, but it's not. She always wanted to talk. I miss her. I miss my mom. I miss her so much. Oh, sweetie. It's okay. I am right here. You never have to miss me. And I'll always be with you, even if I'm not right beside you. What is wrong with you? I mean, do you even love me at all? Because I hate to break it to you, but this is not the way you treat the people you love. Jack, this conversation's over. No. No, you don't get to walk away anymore. You hurt me. I mean, you hurt me a lot. And you're just gonna have to stand there and deal. I counted on my dad for everything. To just be there for me. And I'm moving on. With or without a dad who loves me. And boys can't too cry. They should every once in a while.
feel better. Mom, I, I gotta run to the camp. Okay, I'll get the car. Jack! Bro, that was seriously gritty. You got a lot off your broning chest. How do you feel? Better, I just really need to say all that. Gun, I feel better. Oh, my tooth. <laughs> awesome, bro. Ellie, I think the quest is done. You? Uh, listen, I'm gonna go to celebratory run. <laughs> Knock yourself out, kid. Me too, Jack. Yes, we had to fix stuff for ourselves. Yeah, couldn't have done it without your life. Wait, I have your totem, and I'm at the river. Don't worry, only got five minutes left to fix this. Porter, meet your soda mobile stat. Just wait here, brah. Hurry! Only one minute left! Ready? Let's do this. I wish I had my life back. Everything is so much better. I wish I had my life back. Everything is so much better. I love you, I love you. I promise I will never leave you again. <laughs> hey, what am I wearing under here? A couple layers of clothing and a bathing suit underneath that. Weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> hey, where are you going, tracksuit? See you later, Porty. So, uh, you're good to take me back, right? Yeah, sure, but... Dude, can you loosen your grip this time? I mean, we're buds and all, but... Guy needs a space. Got it. Okay. Mom! Dog! Oh. <laughs> I really do feel better now. I am so glad, babe. Mom, I got this. From now on, you don't have to watch me so closely. You can go out and grab a little life for yourself. I'm gonna be okay. I know you are, honey. Ugh. Home sweet home. Hey, you okay, man? You had us all pretty worried. I'm so okay. Just happy to see your big, ugly faces. <laughs> Jack! Coach? Dad. Call me Dad, son. After what you said Whatever to me... Whatever I said, I, it wasn't me. Just listen. Ever since your mom passed, I thought it, to be tough with you was best. That any softness that I allowed in would open you up, open all of us up to all that pain from the past. But, but that made you think, it made any of you think for even a moment that I don't love you, then I've done this all wrong. I love all you boys more than you'll ever know. You're right. Boys can cry. 
Give me your guys. It's an order. Girls posted my party memes and their totes going viral and trending in France. Update. Don't like Aspen anymore. She's so shallow. Dad just texted. Wants to know how to send a hug emoji. Porter, thanks for giving me bro code fast. Totally gonna ask out Ellie. Who, Jack? No, he's totally like a brother to me. Honest. But I think I know someone he might like like. <laughs> hey. Look, just because the team's official doesn't mean that she has to come to the mall with us. Savvy? Anyway. Oh, Elle, I'm sorry. I've been such a jerk. We've had a great run as BFFs, but I'm cool with just keeping the memories and moving on, if you are. Okay. Hey, Jack. Hey, Mackenzie. What's up? Want some donuts? That one's my favorite. I had like five earlier. <laughs> Learning to share. Aww. Hey, you're learning, you're learning. They told me to be quiet. <laughs> Jack, go! See you later. Oh, man. Hey, Austin, it's hot! Aw, I'm really gonna miss those guys. Except for the pro piles and loogie hawking contests. Not as much as I'm gonna miss your mom's banana bread. Oh, and that calming tea, that's serious relaxation. Hey, Dad, uh, you know Miss O'Brien here? Ellie says that she leads the best hot yoga class in town. And Mom, do you know Coach Malloy? Jack says he makes an awesome wheatgrass smoothie. Well, I, I guess our reputations precede us. I'm Summer. I'm, uh, uh Francis. Francis. It's, uh... it's nice to meet you. Did you usually, I mean, would you, uh, as a matter of course, would you? I drive a truck. See where I get uh, it from? Do you Wish he had more game. Hmm, wish we could help them out. Delete, 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 delete. Yeah, right? My mom and me, we're gonna play checkers tonight. It's gonna be a really fun time. You should come one time if you want, because I like to invite people to things, but you don't have to. But if you want to, you can. Get, get off my mat! Get... Which one of you guys isn't wearing deodorant? Striker. Yeah, it's a Dude, really? You've seen that in movies. When I, a coach does that, the people, the team supports the coach, right? I don't hang out and play video games. I don't Shh. eat pizza. Sorry. What, did you drop it? Drop the dart. Let's go down. <laughs> oh. Hey, Elle. <laughs> <laughs> <That's cool. laughs>